Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and uh, that's going to be a little bit of an unusual content because uh, I'm helping out in uh, setting up a smart home in this well in this new family home now and uh, well the reason I'm here because uh, well we decided that we are going to use a mix of uh, industrial automation so you can see this side of PLC here and we are also going to use tap home so you can see a tap home core here and also quite a few of the tap home um, modules. So these are 12 digital input, digital output modules. Um, and well, you see eight here and there is another distribution box uh, on the second floor. So that has four additional modules. And uh, well, I'm responsible for the tap home part. So we decided that uh, um, we are going to use tap home for lights and the blinds because uh, the way you can configure all the you know the the rules and everything in tap home makes it a much more user friendly so if uh, the client would need to make any changes then he can do the changes in the tap home application as opposed to you know implement the same functionality within a plc and of course you don't really have access to the plc programming it's much more complicated you need a separate software you need license and everything so the way um we think about this implementation is uh, as I said, lights and awnings uh, and blinds and everything. So that's going to be in tap home. And then everything else, which is more like um, heating, uh, heating and cooling and uh, like irrigation and, you know, pumps and energy monitoring and, uh, you know, monitoring the water and everything like that is going to be in the, the PLC. So that's going to be the PLC. And I'm going to build an interface between the two. So uh, the PLC is on Ethernet, Tap Home Core is on Ethernet. So I should be able to use the functionality, well, the mode bus integration to create a communication between the two. So if we would implement any code within the PLC, we would do it in a way that uh, uh, we would create like, you know, variables like uh, I don't know, temperature thresholds and that sort of stuff or uh, enabler bits. And those bits would be controllable from the tap home. So the logic in the PLC is going to be fixed and sort of like parameterized. And those parameters can be controlled from the tap home from, from the application. Um, well, yeah, of course, for the application. So, for example, in terms of the irrigation, we would have a program which runs the irrigation, like, you know, switches on the various zones. But how long to run the zones and when to start them, that's going to be controlled from tap home. So we would have a user interface and um, we would also have some sort of rules where you can set up how you can do those. Um, well, that's the idea anyway. So we have most of wiring done so you can see all the inputs and the outputs are connected so none of the lights and the switches are installed at the moment so nothing really working but i was able to uh, power the whole thing and uh, and just get the basics working you know initially set up the tap home um, you know give it a fixed ip address create the users and then start labeling all the different outputs and let me show you the whole thing in the background. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm working from here. Uh, we have, that's the final router, but obviously it's a temporary place and the internet uh, so far is just the mobile internet. And if I pan around, so that's the box where the tap home and all the home automation lives. And you have some main controls here and you have all the, I don't know what it's called these interconnects and the earth bonding wires and all the outputs are relayed again so you can see all these uh, schneider electric relays and uh, it is so nice because they have a built-in led so you can actually see when the relay is energized and also you have this thingy here so even if everything dies in the home you can always come here and then use these uh manual switches to switch on lights or operate blinds, uh, which is something I'm missing in my installation. And you all have the circuit breakers and everything here. So um, <clears throat> that's obviously extra cost, 
and I know that the relays inside all the tap home modules are designed to uh, I think handles I don't remember the ratings. So they have a normal uh, rating, but there is also like a high rating for 500 milliseconds. So it should be able to handle all the inrush current. But if for any reason one of the relay fails inside this module, then, well, you either have to disable that output or you change the entire module. So we thought that given the extra cost, we are going to, well, sort of, we recommended the client to use the additional relays and... Uh, well, he agreed. So that's how it looks like. Uh, it's very complicated. Uh, it's very messy. And we also have a lot of other stuff here. Uh, air handlers, uh, um, what is it? Uh, heat pumps, all the storage tanks for domestic hot water and heating and cooling and everything. So there is going to be loads of work. Uh, oops. But I think my work is definitely going to be simpler because uh, um, you know as soon as I label all the inputs and the outputs we can create I can create simple rules and then I would do well sorry I would show the client how to do it manually so he can set up the rest of the stuff and well, at least that's the plan for now so that's all for today thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video